Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to do a review between the Brother P-Touch Embellish and the Tempera Light uh, by DCWV. So I'm going to do a comparison because I have searched the internet when I wanted to purchase um, a label maker. I wanted one for a while so I could label my stamps and um, dies as well as all my little drawers and stuff. So I was trying to find a comparison between the two and I could not find a YouTube video out there. Um, I seen like a handful, just a couple on this one here, which I still feel like was not really in depth. Um, and then there's a few on this one. Um, but like I said, I did not see a comparison on the two. This one is going to cut, do the tape as well as the ribbon where this one's just going to do the tape. So I want to do a comparison today. Um, talking a little bit about price, the price of the refills, etc., like that. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now for this one, um, the price of this one is fifty nine ninety nine, and you can only it's supposed to be exclusive to Michaels, but you can get it on Amazon and eBay as well as the Brother website. But they are fifty nine ninety nine. Uh, the Tempera Light, um, you can find it on Michaels as well as Amazon and eBay. Um, and I believe the Tempera Light has their own website. I'm not too sure. Uh, but this one runs $79.99. Now, the difference between the two, they both are at Michael's, but this one you cannot buy and have it shipped to your house. You have to pick it up in the store. This one you can pick up in the store or have it shipped to your house. Now, with this one, you cannot use a coupon, but this one you can. So this one right here is going to be the $59.99, no coupon. This one right here, um, you can use the coupon. So I used a 60% off coupon on this one and got it as low as $32. Now, as for their ribbon and um, this one's the ribbon and both of their tapes. For the brother, the ribbon and the tape, they are both $9.99. Um, and you can pick those up at Michael's as well as Amazon. But Amazon, they have them for a hefty like $18.99. I don't know why they're so expensive over there. Normally, I find stuff way cheaper on Amazon. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on it. If I find deals, I'll have it linked down below. Um, and also on eBay. Now, this one right here, the rolls of the ribbon, they come in little packages like this. And I'm showing these because I have them on hand. Um, they come in packages like this. And like I said, it only does the tape. Um... And I'm, they have several to choose from. They come in a little package like this. And when you open it up, it looks like this. Okay, so it looks just like this. And they are 0.6 inches by 13 feet long. So I think they're pretty pretty big for, um, and then they'll show you on the front. But you can feel and look at their tape as well as seeing what color the font's going to be. Now, for them, these right here at Michael's are $7.99. You can use a coupon, so you can get them as low as around $3.20. Um, if you get them on Amazon, they're around $6 and something, or they also have little bundles of three that you can get for around $12.99, $12.50, and they also have bundles of two that you can get for about nine something. So they are more affordable because you can use a coupon as well, find, them, find deals on them. Um, these ones here, I'm gonna open it up so I can show you. When you get this one, it comes in a cartridge like this. I'm not going to pull it out, but it comes just like a cassette tape. So think of a cassette tape, and that's exactly what this pretty much looks like. So they come just like this, whether they're the ribbon or uh, the tape. And they come in like a little box. Now these, like I said, 9 and 9, they are 12 millimeters by 47 inches long. So that's how long those are. Uh, they both feature, now for like I said, so you cannot use... A coupon on any of this stuff. I did score mine on eBay at brand new from a seller for $32 free ship. So I did get mine for exactly the same price. But that is very rare. If you go on eBay, they're selling between $52 and um, $59.99, things like that. But if you go to their sold, you could see just a couple where they've sold for around $30. I kept checking ritually every single day. I would go to new, newly listed items, and luckily I scored this guy. It was an amazing uh, seller, and I literally bought it um, on a Friday evening and had it in my mailbox on Monday. Super fast. Um, now, I can't say that for every eBay seller, but I just wanted to say I did end up getting both of mine for the exact same price. So, I pretty much got the two for the price of the one. So, I'm pretty excited because some things this one does, this one doesn't. Some things this one does, this one doesn't. So, I have two of both worlds because I kept looking for really good reviews or like a, a verses and I couldn't find that. So, that's to go over the prices of the ribbon and the prices of the machine. Now, I think where they have this one marketed for $79.99, I think it's beyond overrated. Um, 
I think they they should, you know, it should be around 30 bucks. I think this one is definitely priced right at $59.99. It's definitely got way more features. It does both of the ribbon and the tape. Um, I like, I'll go over some features in just a second. But um, I definitely think this one's more heavy duty, more computer fill, um, definitely more than this one. This one's really um, not cheaply filling made at all. It's just lighter, which is great. But, um, it's got a smaller screen. It doesn't have a shift where this one does have a shift. Um, things like that. I don't know why this one is priced way more than this one. But at the same time, I really love that I can use coupons. So you can still get it down. So I would recommend if you're going to score one of these guys to wait until Michaels has about 60% off and try to score it. Now as for this one, like I said, they don't do coupons. Maybe Black Friday they'll have a, a deal or something like that. Or keep your eye on eBay like I did. But watch your sellers. Okay. So let's go ahead and go into features. Now this one did come in a bigger box because it obviously is bigger. And then this one was just a really tiny box. This one does not come with any tape at all. You have to purchase the tape separately. This one comes with one roll of the ribbon when you first purchase it. So it does come with one. So if you technically say the ribbon is $9.99, the machine is actually only $49.99 because it does come with the ribbon. So um, I will say that. Um, I think they're both packaged very nicely. They both did come with several different languages. The um, brother, on the other hand, did come with, for um, the French language, it did come with some stickers to put on top to cover um, the English, English language. So I think that was really cool. Um, they both come with, um, so this one is for the Temper Light, and this one is for the Brother P Touch. They do come with these handy little guides, so you can quickly whip these out. So what I wanted to do first off was go over a few things. So this one here, for example, you can tell is bigger than this one. This one weighs more than this one. Um, so you can definitely see the size comparison. This one is about the size of my hand and this one is two hands. So that's a way to kind of break that down. The screen, you can definitely see the size in the screen. This one is probably three times the size of this screen in width. So um, they both feature the um, cut feature right here on top. This, and they're both really easy. You literally just push it like that. There's no force. It's really easy to push. Same thing with this one. They're super easy to push. Um, so both of them are featured on top. The thing with the Brother, you can connect it to a wall outlet. So um, this one doesn't even have to have batteries. You could literally just plug it into the wall. That is a really nice feature to have. Um, whereas this one does not. Um, this one requires four AAA batteries. This one requires six AAA batteries. So this one requires two more batteries than this one, which I can imagine because of its size, but I do like the fact that you can plug it in the wall, which totally saves money there. Okay, so because batteries are quite expensive and usually little machines like this do run down their batteries quite, pretty quickly. Both of them do have a wide range of tapes to choose from. There's tons of patterns. Um, and then each one has their own features of what kind of patterns and what kind of frames. Okay, so they all have, they both have different fonts to choose from, frames, symbols, patterns. This one does not have the ribbon feature because it doesn't cut ribbon. Now, um, I'm wondering if, curious if that'll be something they will bring in in the future. Um, because I would I would think that they would be able to accomplish that with their with their rolls um, And I do hope to see that for this one in the future um, The power button for this one is right here. This one is right here This one is probably three or four times the size of this power button um, The letters on this one is the buttons is bigger. So about two times the size of this one um, this one right here has a shift. So if you want to do a capital letter, you just would hold down the shift and then click it. Um, or you could hit all caps, all caps off. So that's how you would do that, just like a keyboard. This one does not. You push this button here to have all caps. And if you need to take the caps off, you click it again. So, um, I'm not always a fan of that. Um, I've never really been a fan of features like that. I really like the fact that you can hold on the shift button and click that and move on. Um... They both have an OK button. They This one has an escape. This one has a clear. Um, they both have the arrows over. They both have a space bar. But you can see the size of this space bar versus this space bar. This one is about three, three or four times size bigger than this one. 
Um, this one you can save files. This one you cannot. Um, this one to get to the different frames and fonts, it's these teensy tiny little buttons up here. So you have font, frame, size, and orientation. So you can change it um, for what direction you want it to print out. This one right here, they were all right here. Um, and then I'm not too sure where the orientation is on this one just yet. Um, the backspace on this one's right here. This one to backspace, you have to hit clear. Um, so, and then this one to get to the symbols is right here. And the symbols on this one is right here. This one has a preview button. So you can see what it's going to look at like before you print it. This one does not. Um, and I'll go over that in just a second. Um, their numbers are all listed up here. And if you hit the shift, you'd be able to get to the... Um, you're just like you would with a normal keyboard to get to the at hashtag things like that all of that is down here in the symbols but both of them um, on this side here have a clear window so that way you can see what tape or what ribbon that you have in here so this one right here is like this it's a pretty big size window you can see all of the information to see what you have as well as you can see the ribbon or tape in there to see how much you have left now for this one the circle is smaller but you really don't need you can see your ribbon the point of this one is to see what color you have and how much you have left um but what I like about this one, I can tell whether I have ribbon or tape since it takes the two. This one right here has little feet on it and has these little dots here. Kind of helps, has, it's at an angle so you can just sit here and have it in front of you just like a keyboard. This one does not, it just lays flat, does not have any little feet to get it to not slip inside. And this one just lays flat, so there's nothing. This one reminds me of like those little um, old kind of flip flones like that. And this one right here actually reminds me of a keyboard. Um, so I really like this one. I'm really liking this one compared to this one. Um, don't feel that I don't like this one because I know sometimes when you look at reviews and you think, I really do like this one. So I don't take it back at all that I got it. Um, it's just depending on what features you want. So I wanna help somebody, if they want to make sure that they can just hit shift or things like that or have more patterns, they would choose one over the other. So let's go ahead and jump into the patterns. So I wanna to go to frames first. So let's do the temper light first. Here is all their frames. I'm gonna hold it for you for a minute if you wanna hit pause so you can go over them all and see if any of these are, are what you would need or be interested in. The frames for the temper light, there is only 38. So um, they've got some more basic ones, and then you've got where you can create a whole entire train, um, boats, uh, castles, houses, film rolls, several different character animals, things like that. Um, I like the little sewing needle and thread as well. Okay, so that is for that one. That one is 38, and like I said, you could hit pause and kind of really look at those. Now, for the patterns for the uh, Brother P-Touch, they are all right here. So I'm gonna hold it back like this. Once again, if you want to hit the pause button, you can really look at these. Now, I'll bring it up just like this as well. So if you wanna pause on this section a little bit closer, you can do that as well. And then we will do the same thing and break this up in a couple pieces. So you can hit pause and look at these as well as these. So just hit the pause button and really look into all of these so that way you can see if these have anything of what you're kind of looking for. Now for the brother, it has 96 frames, whereas the, the tempera has 38. So 96 versus 38. So brother already kind of knocks that one out of the park. Um, it's also got some more basic stuff, you know, and then you've got some little leaves. This is more of like your basic type things. And then you can come, this is your real basic, okay? So these are all your really, really basic, um, just simple type of squares with dots and things like that. These ones have more of like just the little hearts and stars on the side, things like that. Whereas you kind of get over here and you get more in depth with like cars and um, look at the pumpkin. So this like Cinderella one here that has the pumpkin and the little castle, love that one, as well as the um, rabbit with the clock, uh, roses, and looks like there's um, the Wizard of Oz and things like that. This one really has some really, really cute ones. This one pretty much knocks um, this one out of the park when it comes to the frames, honestly, in my opinion. 
But at the end of the day, this does have frames that this one does not that um, I would like to utilize. So for example, if I was gonna do something for a teacher, it has this cute little pencil. Um, I really love the sheep and the penguin and things like that. I really love the train to put that together for a little boy's room or something like that. And um, I do plan on using these on cards and such. So I think they would be really cute to have these extra frames for cards. And also, if I was labeling my stamps or my dies and they were Disney inspired or anything like that, I could always do a Disney one. Um, and then like more of my summer type ones, I could use the summer stuff. But they're super cute ones for like teachers and things like that. So once again, that one has 96. Now for initial marks, this one has initial marks, which is right here like this, so it can create banners and things like that. This one has it where the only one, and they call it fancy numbers that they have that's kind of similar to that, is right here. You, you can see the four leaf clovers as well as the apples and the paw prints. That's what they have for numbers, whereas the brother has what they call initial marks, and you can turn these into, like I said, banners and things like that. This thing for um, the brother is, this is their list of fonts. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They have 14 fonts to choose from, and the Temper Light has, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Temper Light has seven different fonts to choose from. This is what they have. Um, some of my favorites is the Graffiti and the Cute. I really love those. Um, so it has seven. So the Brother has 14 different font sizes. And so you can see that the Temper has some that they don't, such as the Graffiti and the Cute. Um, to me, these are all more kind of basic in my opinion. Um, they almost kind of seem a little bit similar. I do like this one here a little bit for some more Halloween things. Um, so they do have more to offer, but I think that the Tempra wins on, um, on their versatility a little bit more in the difference. Some of these seem a little similar, but I think they do have a little bit more of a range. They may be a small amount, but they, theirs kind of is a little bit more different, if that makes sense. Okay, so now for the next thing, what we're going to do is we're going to go over um, the basic symbols. So these are all the basic symbols that um, the brother has to offer. Um, they have punctuation, mathematics, brackets, arrows, units, fractions, Roman numerals, shapes, numbers, emojis, music, clothes, travel, sports, animals, decorative, astrology, holiday, events, kitchen, food and beverages, crafts. I love that they have a craft. Um, that really makes me excited right there. Um, baby, school, home office, and audio visual. Now, if you come back over here to the tempera, this is all of theirs. So for them, they have punctuation, units, numbers, fancy numbers, two-digit icons, abbreviation, animals, plants, food, vehicles, miscellaneous, daily, zodiac, special, accents, Greek, I know I'm going to butcher this, hyringa, 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 um, and katakana. I know I did not pronounce those correct. So this one does have these kind of things to choose from, but when you come over here to the brother, theirs is called accented characters, I believe. So that's what this one right here is for. So it does come with those as well. Now, when it comes to the two of them, um, like this one, for example, had a little bit more to choose from of some, some things up here, like they had a little bit more punctuation, but they also separated. So their punctuation where it's on those is these three connected here. Um, and then their, their symbols here, you know, they kind of just have them a little bit different organized. But I definitely think, um, as for the papers as well, I like how big the brother printed theirs out compared to the tempera, how tiny those are to figure out what you need. You can clearly see these here, if that makes sense. These are just so teensy tiny. But if you want to look at the symbols here, I'm gonna hold it like this for a second and let you take a screenshot. So that way you can see those. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the brother. So that way if you wanna pause it for a minute to see if there's anything that would interest you on that as well. 
Now on the brother, it shows the text as examples, kind of show you with a different orientation, or I think repeating those back to back. Um, this one also on the brother gives you continued continuous frame. So it has all these different little frames on here, as well as if you were doing the continuous over and over again, you could have the dots or the little swaying and things like that. Now as for the temper light, um, it does not have anything like that. Um, the only thing that they have for repeatedly an orientation is just the one option and you just hit orientation here and change whether you want it to be this way or that way. Um, it doesn't really give you the, the little dashes and dots like this one does. Um, this one, like I said, gives you the pattern. So, if you, so if the fact that this one prints on ribbon, you have all these different patterns to print out. So I'm going to hold this here again for a few minutes so you guys can see if any of these would be what you would be interested in. Um, and I pretty much think that covers it as for, because I just wanted to go in the directions over the emblems and fonts and things like that. Now, to go back to the temper, so that is all with the brother. To come back with the, temp, the temper here, you do have a size. So you can change the size from extra large, large, medium, and small. So you can change the size of your font here. Um, and then other than that, I believe that's pretty much it for the temper. So to do a little comparison, the brother obviously out won the temper when it comes to the... Um, patterns as because they have patterns this one does not they also they won the frames compared to from 96 to 30 what was it 32 38 um so this one definitely has three times the amount that this one does when it comes to the frames um this one also won when it came to fonts compared to this one but at the same time like i said um i do like the fonts on the tempera there may only be seven but there's definitely seems a little more rangy and stepping out compared to it just seems like small increments with the brother um as for keyboards like i said i think the brother wins that um for both of the cut features i think they both both work great um if you're looking for something that is more smaller lightweight something you can literally just throw in your bag i would definitely stick to the tempera light um as this one's a little bit more heavy and i would i would I would take this one as one that just kind of stays on your desk so you can plug it in. And if you were going to maybe get one for on the go, I would do the Timber Light. Now, it's not saying that you can't stick this in your bag. I just really would not want to. Um, and that's just my opinion. Um, now, when it goes for turning them on, we're going to power them up at the exact same time and see when they are both ready to go. Hopefully, let me prop this up so you guys can see. So you guys can hopefully see both screens power up at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button on both of them at the exact same time. Okay, so it looks like the tempera. Oh, nope, because this one was still on. So whenever I turned them on, um, this one is just ready to go. So it's just got the little flashing there. Whereas this one is still on the project that I worked last. So I like that. I like that when I turned it off last, it was still on there. So I'm going to show you that really quick. I'm going to type in happy Mother's Day space, Mother's Day. And by the way, these buttons are so small and so close. You will constantly, because I've had that issue so far, constantly wanting to bump the other. Okay. So, I'm going to turn it off. It says, see you. I like how this one welcomes you. So, I'm going to turn it back on. It says, welcome, ABC. And you notice it's gone. It does not remember anything. So, it just completely goes away. Whereas, this one is back where we started on the Mother's Day. And then, you do have the option to save these. Um, so, you can come over here to file and stuff like that and save them. So, it shows that I have two so far out of nine. So, you can save up to nine files on here. Um, I don't think that's a whole lot, but I think when it's to labeling, I think that's pretty good. Um, cause I don't know it, what you would really need to save a ton for. I would say if you had a business and you need your main logo or something like that, things like that, um, or definitely things that you may use a lot, you know, the word congratulations, thank you, things like that. Um, but so far that's my review. Like I said, if you come over here, I'm going to hit escape, escape. Let's see about clear. So for this one to clear, we're going to go ahead and hit, so I can just hold down 
and backspace. So this one also does, I messed up on that earlier. The clear button is the backspace. So this one has an escape to escape out of like say fonts, symbols, patterns, things like that, or the menu. So they both do have a clear button. So you just kind of have to hold that down. Okay, so say I was typing out Mother's Day. Space day. It's easy to type that out compared to this one with this tiny little word. So Mother's Day with tiny little, you see how much I messed up typing that in there. And even if I slow down, it's you got to really pay attention. And I already still hit the space and didn't realize it. So I'm going to hit clear one more time. Mother's Day space. This one is just really, really touchy. So um, that's one thing. If you have big fingers like me, um, these tiny little buttons are really going to get crazy because I have multiple times using this so far bumped other things. This one definitely has more of like the computer feel to it. Um, yes, the buttons are smaller than a normal computer, but it definitely does distinguish and let you kind of click their own. You may mess up here and there, whereas this is pretty much every time I type something out, they're just so small. Um, if I could go backwards and I was now have them side by side to see how many fonts, how many um, patterns based upon, I knew that this one um, did ribbon as well as the tape, but um, it was kind of priced with me as well. Um, number one, I couldn't use a coupon in this and I didn't want to pay the $59.99 plus tax. So I just thought, well, I'll keep an eye out on eBay. Well, I went ahead in the meantime, took advantage of the 60% off coupon, scored this guy for 32. And then I also used 60%, 50%, and 40% off on three of these to get these all for around $3. Um, so whenever, so if it came back though, and it wasn't like I could wait, um, and I was going to, even by price, so if I had to pay the $59.99, I definitely would all day long for this one. I definitely think it's worth the $59.99. It comes with one roll of ribbon. So like I said, technically you're only paying $49.99. Well, $49, not $49.99 because the ribbons are $9.99. So you're best basically paying $49 for this thing if you think about the ribbon. So $49, I definitely, even though I could have got this one for $32 with a coupon, I would still take... I would still pick the Brother P-Touch embellish now that I know what I know. Because, like I said, I already knew about the ribbon, so that's a plus. Um, I do like the size. I always usually want something more lightweight, but not when it comes to this. The, the, the buttons are just so tiny that it's taking me longer to type out what I need. Whereas I'm not even having to hold this at the end of the day because it's propped up on my desk. So I'm not having to hold it like this, so I don't really have to worry too much about weight. Um, this one can be plugged into the wall where this one cannot. Um, let me go ahead and power both of these off. This one here has three times the frames as this one does. Um, this one has more symbols and things like that. Um, just alone based on the papers that come with it to be able to see the sizes, the sizes that they print their paper in so you can see their patterns and things like that. I go with the brother. They win that for me. Um, I think the brother, I think it's awesome that for the French that they, they gave you this for to change that. I, that was a little extra for somebody that's in another language. Um, the Both of them, I think the packaging was great. Um, like I said, this one did come with the one roll of ribbon. This one did not come with one roll of tape. Um, now for the battery-wise, I would go with the Tempra um, that they won that because they only take four. This one takes six. Um like I said, Tempra wins being able to use a coupon. You would be able to get it cheaper than $32. You will save a ton of money in the long run when it comes to the tape. So the one thing I do say about the Tempra that I would choose if it was based on trying to save money and still have because you almost have what the brother has with this one, almost. If it's thinking about the long run, I would definitely choose the Tempra I would save tons of money on their tape because I would be able to slowly collect it over time and get it for around $3 a roll. Um, where each time I'm gonna have to pay the $9.99 or keep an eye on Amazon and eBay to score them super cheap. Unless Black Friday they have some deal I could, could stock up. Um, so definitely when it comes to money-wise, saving-wise, I would go with the Tempered Light. Uh, but when it comes to 
and what its capabilities are, I would go with the Brother P Touch. So if you're looking for something that has a ton of borders, has stuff that like has Disney and things on it, because this one does not, you'd want to go with the Brother. If you want something that is easier to type your stuff in, you know, sets on your desk, like I said, saving you, the battery, be able to use the cords, go with the Brother. Um, and then, like I said, to save money, you still almost have what they have, be able to throw it in your bag, things like that. Go with the temper light. So if you're looking for something for that you can travel with, um, something more affordable, etc. I know I'm kind of going over these things again and again. And also the brother wins with me because you can do the preview. Um, on the temper light, let me go ahead and show you that now. Um, say that I just typed in happy, okay? And hopefully you guys can see that, see the word happy. So I'm gonna come up here to frames. So to choose a frame, I'm gonna hit the arrow over. So I'm gonna come over here and just choose one. Say that I choose, I'm just trying to, okay, say that I chose that one. And I hit okay. It comes back here to the word happy. So I don't know whether that's gonna print or not. I can't see what it's gonna look like when it prints. Um, if I go back to frames, it's just going to show me what, cho what frame I chose. It's not going to show me the final, um, what it's going to print out as. Once I hit print, it's ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and print something out for you guys now. So just so you guys can see. So I'm going to hit clear and I'm going to go ahead and type in stickles. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so, and then let me go back up to frames to make sure I have something. Let me go over, and let's see. I'm going to pick the pencil right here. Actually, I want to show you guys where it's cute. So, let me let me do these cute little cats, okay? So, I'm going to do that. All you have to do at this point is hit print. Oh, hit okay. Okay, so now, like I said, it brings you back to this, this page. Can't even tell if the frames are there or not. I'm going to hit print. And it just pops right out the top. You see how fast it went? Um, it was just ready to go. Now, this is the second time. I'm glad that this happened. Now, this is the second time that this has done this to me with this tape. So, I will say, I think there... And I haven't used the tape yet on the brother, so I can't judge. Um, let me go ahead and show you the cut feature. So, you just literally hit it like this. And it's cut. Okay. So, what I'm talking about here, can you guys see where it's like this right here? Where it's kind of overlapping? It's like it got a bend in the tape, and I've been having that so far. Um, so when you work that out, when you gotta put it on something, there's going to be a gap there. I also had one where it literally didn't even print out some of the letters um, and part of the sheep. So um, I don't know if this is gonna be an ongoing issue with their tape or not, but like I said, I can't compare it to the brother. I don't know whether theirs will do that or not. Um, but I'm not liking that with the temper so far because this is two separate rolls of tape that that has happened to. Um, and it's not cheap. So you can also see, I didn't even notice, part of the little paw prints are also missing up at the top. So it's when there's a line in this, so something happened at the factory, when there's a line, it will not print as there as well. It's really weird. So I, I'm so glad that happened so you guys can see that because I kind of forgot that. Okay, so anyways, you print it out like that. Super easy though, but like I said, you couldn't see whether the frame was gonna happen or not. It has two pieces on the back here, and then that way you can peel off one side and the next if you want to. It is very sticky, so um, I do like that. But like I said, so far I am liking it, but I have had a couple where it did this. So definitely something to think about when it comes to the tempera. But like I said, I can't even vouch that with a brother. So we have the ribbon in here. So what we're gonna do, we have Happy Mother's Day, but I wanna get rid of that, so I'm gonna backspace it. And what I'm going to type in this time is congratulations. Okay, congratulations, I got that typed in. Now if I was to go to frames, I'd go over here. Um, I'm gonna hit my arrow over till I find something that I like. So say we'll do the car and that little, well, I wanna do a Disney one, so let me see. All right, so here's a Cinderella one, that's the one we're gonna do. So now I have picked that, so all I'm gonna do is hit okay. So now you can see it's back at the word congratulations. I can hit preview and you can see that it's gonna show what it's gonna look like when it prints. And I can come all the way over, hopefully you guys can see this, I know my light's kinda glaring. I can come all the way over 
to see exactly what it's gonna look like. Okay, so I can hit okay. And now I'm going to hit print. And with this one, and it's gonna ask, this one's gonna ask you how many copies. The other one does not. So that's another thing the brother does. It's gonna ask you how many copies. I'm gonna hit okay, because I just need one. When I hit okay, it's gonna start printing. Now this one, the font, it comes out really fast as well, but the font is on this side, just like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the cut button on this one, and it's cut. So they both cut really nicely. So this is what that looks like. And look at that gold foil. And this is flawless, like super, super flawless. I really, really love the ribbon on this. I can't wait to get the um, to get the tape so I can start playing with that. I'm gonna order some of that. And if there is if there's any, um, if it definitely prints out a whole lot better than this, I'll probably come back and show you guys that in a separate video, and I will note it down below just so you guys kind of know, but I'm imagining it's going to print just like this on the tape. It's going to look really, really good. If you really want to see it print on the tape, there's tons of videos out there. I know Ken's Creations has one, so um, just kind of look up the reviews, and you can see that, but I just wanted to go on a more in-depth of um, versus. Um, but you can see that I love the ribbon. There's no sticky on the back or nothing. And you can also create the ribbon where it's going in one direction and the other. So that way, if you're folding it over on something, um, to make some super cute hair bows out of these, it would be awesome for like a softball team and do their, um, their little logo. But, um, definitely love that. You can see me kind of rub across that, but that gold, hopefully you can see that come through. looks really, really good. Um, so I'm very pleased with the brother. So like I said, if I could go backwards um, and choose just one, in my opinion, based on, like I said, um, being able to plug it in, how many different frames and things it can do, um, I would pick the brother P-Touch. But like I said, if you're trying to save money, um, I would pick the Temper Light. You want something that travels, Temper Light. But um, hands down, I know that the ribbons and the tapes is going to cost me in the long run. But like I said, I'm a person that saves money, so I will find deals, whether it be Black Friday, eBay, Amazon, things like that. Um, so one way or the other, um, I will be saving money on this because I won't be purchasing those at full price. Sure, all these opinions are on my own, so if you really like this one or you really like this one or you feel like I didn't cover anything, just leave a comment down below if you felt like I didn't cover something. Um, and let me know which one do you, you have, which one do you really like. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.